this is an op-ed, and I'll read it for you. Stop Biden's war on oil gas. Fight Putin by making U.S. Europe energy independent. House Minority Whip Steve Scalise wrote that, and he joins me now. Congressman, I'm with you all the way. No question about it. We should be producing our own oil and gas. My question to you is, do you think we'll ever actually do that? Will Biden ever actually do it? Well, Stuart, I think you're seeing right now the pressure building intensely yeah. as families are paying over six dollars a gallon for gasoline. I mean, people get irate when they see the, the price at the pump go over one hundred dollars and they're still just halfway through filling up their car. And the only answer you get from the Biden administration is, well, go buy an electric car or it's somebody else's fault or the dog ate your homework. People are fed up with the excuses. They know Biden's not drilling on federal lands. He talked about it. As a candidate, he said he was going to shut off the ability for American oil and gas production. And so he's begging dictators. He was begging Putin to produce more oil. Now he's begging, uh, whether it's Iran, Venezuela, stop begging dictators for more oil when the answer is under our feet right here in America. We can lower gas prices and take away Putin's leverage to fund this war in Ukraine. I think we're being held hostage by the environmentalists. They're the ones who will not let us go and get our own oil and nat gas, despite what's happening on the, in the marketplace and prices. I think we're held hostage. I think the Democrat Party is held hostage. And I'm very surprised at that because yeah. there's an election coming. Yeah, Stuart, the, you know, the president clearly is held hostage. Speaker Pelosi, you know, all these people that hide behind the Green New Deal and global warming and all this stuff, they act as if climate change is the reason we shouldn't be drilling. And then they go beg dictators to drill more oil in countries where they emit more carbon than if we made it in America. You actually would reduce carbon emissions if you made it in America instead of some of these other countries like Russia, like Iran, like Venezuela that don't have the standards we do. So they love beating up on America, but then they turn around quietly and go and beg for the oil from countries that do things dramatically worse. Look at Putin right now. He's increased his sales by 30 percent of oil to, to Europe right now. Because Europe used to be able to get more from us. We were exporting oil to our friends around the world. We're not right now. We need to cut off Putin's supply of oil. He's getting over $700 million a day to finance this war in Ukraine. This is ridiculous. Uh, people are fed up with it. Biden is ignoring the problem, thinking he can blame his way out of it. When people know the answer is right here in America, and, and they're livid about it. What are your constituents saying to you? I mean, do any of them say, well, it's Putin's war, it's, Putin, Putin, it's Putin's fault? Sure, there are some constituents saying that to you, I presume. Well, nobody likes what Putin's doing in Ukraine, but when Biden tries to blame everybody else under the sun and, you know, you got Pete Buttigieg, his transportation secretary, giving, you know, his Marie Antoinette moment saying, let them eat cake. Oh, just go buy an electric car, which, by the way, costs a lot more money. Good luck if you wait in line maybe six months to get it. Uh, to get it ordered because of the backlog with the supply chain that his agency has failed to address. You know, people know that's lunacy. And they say, well, why aren't you just drilling in America? It would create jobs, by the way, but it would also take away dependence on oil from these dictators around the world. Uh, stop funding countries like Russia who are using this money to go and kill people in Ukraine. You know, yeah. Zelensky gave an incredibly impassioned plea. He just wants he just wants the ability to defend his country. Biden can't even figure that out. Biden won't even help get the MIGs from Poland to Ukraine when, when Zelensky is begging him for it. I mean, lives are being lost. Maternity yep. wards are being bombed. Just let us control the sky, and Biden can't even do that. Got it. Steve Scalise, Congressman, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Got to see you later. Stuart, great being with you.